Hello there. I'm Alfred Benesis, a recently retired professor at the University of Waterloo in Ontario, Canada, where I teach and do research in the field of cryptography. In August of 2024, I launched a YouTube channel and website, cryptography101.ca, to share my online courses in cryptography and related areas. You can find the links to the videos and the slides on my website. Today's video is a brief introduction to my short course on lattice basis reduction. As of the year 2025, the two public key schemes that are most commonly used in practice are RSA and elliptic curve cryptography, or ECC. The security of all RSA cryptosystems relies on the difficulty of factoring large integers, for which the fastest known method is the number field sieve. By contrast, ECC security is based on the difficulty of finding elliptic curve discrete logarithms, for which the fastest algorithm known is Pollard's row algorithm. In 1994, Peter Shore developed a very fast algorithm for factoring integers on quantum computers. Shortly thereafter, researchers showed that Shore's algorithm could be also adapted to solve the elliptic curve discrete logarithm problem. This means that both RSA and ECC would be rendered insecure if large, practical quantum computers were ever built. Although the timeline for building cryptographically relevant quantum computers remains uncertain, interest in deploying quantum-resistant cryptosystems has surged in the past year. In August of 2024, the U.S. government's National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, published its first standards for quantum-resistant cryptographic schemes. Of these standardized schemes, Kyber, a key encapsulation mechanism, and Dilithium, a signature scheme, are expected to see the broadest adoption in the coming years. The security foundations of Kyber and Dilithium rest on the hardness of two problems, the learning with errors problem, LWE, and the shortest integer solutions problem, SIS. Both LWE and SIS can be reformulated as instances of the shortest vector problem SVP and its approximate version. The fastest methods known for solving SVP are refinements of the classic lensra lensra lovash algorithm known as LLL. The LLL algorithm, introduced in 1982 by Arian Lenstra, Hendrik Lenstra, and Laszlo Lovash, is an efficient method for finding relatively short bases of integer lattices. Over time, LLL and its refinements, most notably the BKZ algorithm, have become fundamental tools in cryptography. Their most important role is in assessing the security level of lattice-based cryptographic schemes such as Kyber and Dilithium. Just as a solid grasp of the num field sieve and Pollard's row algorithm, is essential for assessing the security of RSA and ECC. A solid understanding of the LLL algorithm is essential for appreciating the security foundations of Kyber and Dilithium. This course provides a detailed explanation of the LLL lattice basis reduction algorithm. The first video is an introduction to lattices. The second video covers Gauss's algorithm a classical method for finding a shortest basis for a two-dimensional lattice. The LLL algorithm is, in some sense, a generalization of Gauss's algorithm. In the third video, we'll review the Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization process for constructing an orthogonal basis for a real vector space. Gram-Schmidt is the essential tool used in the design of LLL. The fourth video presents the LLL algorithm itself along with its analysis. In the fifth video, we'll demonstrate how LLL can be used to attack the ECDSA signature scheme when partial information about per-message secrets are leaked. The sixth video concludes with a brief overview of the key improvements and refinements to LLL. My earlier courses on lattice space cryptography include a detailed description of how Kyber and the lithium work, and a description of the SIS and LWE problems, 
with an explanation of why they are considered to be lattice problems. In this course, I also highlighted the connection between SIS and LWE and the shortest vector problem. I've also prepared a short course on hash-based signature schemes covering the standardized LMS and Sphinx Plus schemes. All the videos and slides are available on my website, cryptography101.ca. Please share this link with colleagues who may be interested in learning more about post-quantum cryptography. Also, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified when I post a new video.